experience and and tell a different version of a story. A poor victim of someone's fury. Yeah, I mean, speaking about exploration and just finding things out in the world, I was just wandering and came across this clearing and found this kind of morbid altar. Yeah, so this is this is one of our bigger events that we we have um, scattered in the world. So as Eivor explores, um, she can find um, altars like this, and by interacting with them, here it's a trap that's been set um, for by by this character named Regan. Um, now there's a bigger story behind all this. It, it, there's multiple steps to it later on. Um, so this this is one of the moments. Uh, it, it, it permits us to go into a slightly more mystical realm and play with a boss fight that has more magical abilities, if we will, and and basically have this awesome boss fight in the middle of the swamps. And so here, the abilities that you see uh, Reagan using, like, are a little bit on the mystical side of things. What's happening is Eivor at the beginning of that trap is poison, and so she starts sort of hallucinating, seeing the world in a sort of different uh, light and filter. Um, and so that that's sort of what lets us go into this this the the realm of the weird. My rage, spirit of my father's rage, fill me. So we just saw here that Regan belongs to something called the Daughters of Lyria. Yeah, that's correct. By finding the other daughters, you'll get a little bit more backstory on who they are, so we don't want to spoil that too much. But it creates like a, a sort of greater story that is not on the main path in any way, but it, it's still very rich and adds to the lore of this world and actually plays into history.